ultra readable format. <laughs> what a game changer. If you compare a book for reluctant readers with a video game, they share a lot in common. If the game is fun, somebody's going to stick with it. If a book for reluctant readers is fun, they're going to read it all the way to the end. And if ultra readable format is a cheat code that lets you get through the book a lot easier, you're going to have more fun and you're going to read it all the way to the last page. I'm an author and I write books. And as any author will tell you, the more people that can read their books, um, the happier we are. So ultra readable means uh, more people, more kids can access the book and uh, find it easier to read and enjoy. And that makes me a happy author. And I feel like if when we were kids, there were books that were made to be easier for kids who were reluctant readers or um, had a learning disability like my son, that I, f I think it would be really helpful. For me, having my book available in Orca's new ultra readable format is incredible because it means that my stories can reach a huge range of readers, even those whose struggles might not be easily identifiable. Growing up, no one knew that I often struggled with reading because I was never diagnosed with what I now know is obsessive compulsive disorder. For me, reading could be an incredibly trying experience because not only could long or overly complicated passages uh, be hard for me to process, but little things like low quality paper, crowded text, and even something as simple as not having every page numbered could get me stuck and make the process of reading exhausting and frustrating. So I love the ultra readable format because it not only addresses driving readers in its content, but also in those little things in the layout and design as well. If you're struggling with reading, I know it's tough, but I also know that it's worth the effort. Books have the power to open up our worlds and give us a glimpse into other people's lives. It's a really magical experience to let a book transport you. And if you keep going and keep reading, then you have so many amazing adventures ahead of you to keep trying. Find something that you like. Maybe you like dark, twisty thrillers with a little bit of romance and intrigue. Maybe you like sports titles. Maybe you like things with humor. That's fine. Whatever it is that you like, just give it a try and see how it goes. And I think you'll be okay. It is totally okay to be frustrated. Reading can be hard, even for those who are passionate about stories, but not all struggles are bad. And in the end, you'll never regret having read a good book. So I really hope that any of you who are struggling with reading now know that some books just aren't the right book for you and that's okay. You can move on and try something else until you find the stories that speak to you, stories that are about people you want to read about or in formats that you love to read. And you shouldn't feel bad about that. Some people love some types of stories and some people love others. And there's room for all of us to enjoy stories together. Scary. Good. Fun. Getting over anxiety. Or follow your passions. Jen is colorful, creative, and she's definitely brave. Real, romantic, and hopeful. Danger. Twins. And romance. It has mystery, danger, and suspense. Creative, brave, and sweet. Thank you.